Hey everyone, Saboteur here. We're taking on Edgel, the Oath Guard. Now, with his big shield on his back, you can't seem to hit him from behind. So wait for him to make a move. If he does a downward swing with a red circle, jump to the left or right. But don't dodge too early, because if you do, his swing down may follow a bit and you'll get hit. He's going to charge you with a red circle. Again, dodge to the left or right. As you can see there, you can't hit him. The shield blocks his hits. Red circle again. Dodge left or right. Yellow circle, parry. If you're not comfortable with the parry, you're better off dodging out of the way because if you just block a yellow circle, you'll get stunned and his next hit may get you. One move to look out for, this is important because he does it a lot. If you are stuck behind him or he's done a swing, you want to back away because he does some sort of elbow nudge and you get hit by the hilt of his sword. Don't forget to use your special combos when you can. When he swings his sword five times like this, wait for the sixth one. That's the one you can actually parry with the yellow circle. And again, if you do end up behind him with his shield towards you, you want to back away because you might get you with that elbow nudge where the hilt of the sword gets you, like that you just saw there. You definitely want to try and parry those yellow circles rather than just blocking them because you may get stunned and his next hit may get you. Here's a move you need to look out for towards the end of the fight when his health is low. He'll reach into his pocket and pull out some sort of object holding it up in the air with some white smoke around him. He'll slam the ground. Just hold up your shield to block the shockwave along the ground. Don't worry, he doesn't do it really fast. You can see it happening. Atreus may even warn you about it. Now I love the brutal death scene with this boss, so stick around. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. For my existing subscribers, hey, thanks for sticking with me guys. There's a lot more to come. See you all next time. Maybe that journal he dropped could tell us more.